Yarn bombing didn't become a thing until like maybe like five to ten years ago. A lot of the street art world is very masculine and you know it's all about like wearing a mask with spray paint and going to jail and getting your name up. And here come these women with these soft things that a lot of people did not aesthetically appreciate the look of them. What's yarn bombing? What the heck do we do? Well, the way we yarn bomb, we like to just make everyday objects into silly things. That's how I describe it. Yeah, we call it transformative yarn bombing. So we like to take something that is one thing and turn it into something else by covering it in knitting or crochet. So a bike rack might be a snake or a mailbox could be a monster by putting feet on it. Uh, a sign might become a lollipop or a bench, a crazy monster. It's that first yarn bomb that's so uh, nerve-wracking and you have no idea what to expect and you feel like such a vandal and such a criminal. And then <laughs> we uh, made some elf feet to put on a mailbox and we went after dark <laughs> and she was installing them and I always look out. We were so scared. <laughs> like, we're gonna get in trouble. We're gonna get in trouble. Cop car passed, didn't care. Um, and we did it and we didn't in get in dark. trouble. <laughs> Creating our creatures and seeing people respond to them and seeing them actually make people happy has been so satisfying. Yeah, sometimes I'm afraid before we go out and install a yarn bomb that people are gonna think we're really weird or just wonder why we're doing that, but it, that's never been the case. People are always super nice, they love it, and just really happy. <laughs> I like yarn bombing just because I like to make people smile and make them maybe happier in their everyday lives. We don't have enough time in this world that we spend just doing things for joy and making other people happy, and we all need it. <laughs>